So I remember very clearly back in 2010 when I got a special phone call from my, my old friend Dr. Salanti at University of Copenhagen. And he basically told me that he found a protein from the malaria parasite that could bind a specific sugar structure that is only found in the placenta. And uh, this structure um, is also found in cancer. So from that time on, we kind of built it on that and, and took this into cancer research together at the Vancouver Prostate Center and also at the BC Cancer Agency down the road. We took uh, a human lymphoma and a human prostate cancer and a human breast cancer. And then we put it into mice. And then we treated those mice with our drug, which is a combination between the malaria protein and a toxic compound. And what we saw was that we had significant decrease in tumor growth in all models. And even in some models, in the prostate cancer model specifically, we could actually eliminate the tumors in 33% of the cases. And this is something that we rarely see. The standard therapy today for most types of cancer is chemotherapy. And uh, this is a, a therapy where you basically bombard the whole body with a toxin. And that is uh, connected with severe side effects in most cases. What we have uh, developed here as a potential new strategy is that we can directly target the tumor cells without harming the normal cells. I think there's some irony to the fact that you can take a serious disease as malaria that kills more than 200,000 people a year in endemic regions of the world and then take a small component out of that disease and then use it to target another dreadful disease.